are new and welcome to my channel. It is day and right now I have about 20 minutes to quickly get myself together because me and my boyfriend are about to go on a date and we have to be at this place by like 7.15 and y'all, it's 7.20, I just got out of class. I came and uh, jumped in the shower and I actually have half my outfit on. I just didn't put my shirt on because I have to do my makeup. I went ahead and moisturized my face already. So now I'm just taking this uh, Stay Matte and I put this under like my real foundation just because I do have acne and I'm trying to clear up my skin. My skin has a mind of its own and it wants to do its own thing for some reason. But yeah, because I have acne and dark, dark spots, I use this under and it kind of helps to make them a little less visible. The um, foundation that I use, I really got this from the beauty supply store. It was like five, six dollars and this stuff is literally magic. It's called magic, but like literally magic. It's so good. And before this, I was using Fit Me. I still like Fit Me, but I feel like I have a hard time finding my correct skin tone. It's always either too light or too dark. And so I just get really frustrated when trying to find foundations that match me. We were supposed to do the date, the thing that we're going to, we were supposed to do this the day after Valentine's Day. And if you live in Georgia, because that's where we live, the weather has been so bad that we haven't even been able to do this date because they keep having to reschedule us because the weather is so bad and actually i can go ahead and tell y'all because by the time that this video goes up we would have already done it and i'm gonna put it on our couples channel so if you haven't um subscribed to our couples channel then go ahead and subscribe so you guys can see the actual date because this is gonna be fire we're going um on a helicopter ride over um, Atlanta and Buckhead and it's gonna be fire. I already know. I'm kind of scared because I'm scared of heights, but it's definitely an experience that I, I'm so excited about. And this year, I told myself, oh, I use um, the Maybelline Nudes Palette for my eyebrows. I don't know why, I've been doing this for years and I know that there's like brow pencils and dip brow and all that, but like for years, I think like three years now I've been using eyeshadow and just this eyeshadow. Like you can see how I hit the pan and everything, but I just use this for my eyeshadow. I mean, my, I just use this for my eyebrows. <laughs> and I don't do my eyebrows first. I'm actually, I'm gonna be honest, I'm really bad at makeup. I can finesse it um, most days, but I'm not good at makeup to say that like my channel is a makeup ch channel. This year, this year I wanna do things, like I just wanna do a bunch of stuff that I've never done before. Like this year is really about stepping outside of your comfort zone and really just trying new things because trying new things one is an experience but like i feel like everything in the world has some sort of domino effect so i feel like with you trying to open a door for yourself to try new things you could potentially be opening a door that'll change your life forever you see what i'm saying i'll give you all an example let's just say um you have this talent let's say you can sing and you've been scared and timid and you've never wanted to go to do a show or, you know, like showcase your amazing talent. And you try to open a new door and do you like a little open mic night. And you just so happen to connect and network with people who can get you further than what you are right then. And yeah, I just... I don't know. I feel like it's I, I could talk about this for a long time, but I really just feel like trying new opportunities and trying to open new doors for yourself just open just opens many more doors for you as an individual. Like how I'm scared of heights, but I'm about to go do this because why would I not? I'm not gonna let me being afraid of heights stop me. 
Alright, I can't really chit chat for longer, so I'm gonna put some music on to speed this process up. Y'all tell me what y'all like to listen to while you do your makeup. I feel like I have days. I have days where I like, um, you know, like Janae, SZA, and Summer Walker. And then I have days where I like the ratchet, like Lil Baby, and, <laughs> you know, quality control and stuff like that. But I really have ranges. Some days I do like 90s. Like, I just, I don't know. It just depends how I feel that day. But what do y'all typically do your makeup to? I would love to know. I definitely want to learn how to get better at makeup. Um, I kind of feel like I'm too old, but then again, like, don't ever let nobody tell you you're too old to learn something or do something. So I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm too old, but I wish I would have been more into makeup at 15 and 16 so that at this age that I am, I could have been fired with it. But yeah, so that leads me into my next point. I think it's like a thing I'm playing around with. I think I want to do something called a Freestyle Friday where like I just do my makeup however. Either I take some inspiration or I take it from another tutorial, a picture, whatever. And just like, or simply just, you know, make up a, a look just randomly on a Friday. Like, and drop it every Friday. Yeah, and just make up a random look and drop that video every single Friday. And that way, that's consistent content for you guys. And it also helps me to learn how to do my makeup better. Because I do really want to get nice at it. And that's also why I don't buy expensive makeup. Like, all my makeup is drugstore. The ex most expensive makeup I have is Fenty by Rihanna. And it's not even that it's not even that expensive but yeah i don't buy expensive makeup like mac and nars and all of that like i don't buy all of that just because i know like i don't really do makeup so i'm not really about to be sinking my money into all that when i'm not even really fire with it this palette i need another one but these two right here but this is from forever 21 and i haven't seen them sell this ever again Tell my boyfriend, but I got some Chick Fil A nuggets, y'all. I love Chick Fil A. I wish I could eat Chick Fil A every single day and just be skinny. I'm so up. And the crazy part is, I crave Chick Fil A the most on Sundays, like the absolute most on Sundays. And then you be like, "Wow, they close on Sunday, huh?" some wings because my eyes just look so dead and unalive i'm gonna do some wings and see if i have time to throw some lashes on but drawing a lash is like the longest process ever What up, 
day by day with you, with your coat. Sunnies. Sunnies, what up, sunnies? Because it's always sunny on this set. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, they are. They are cool. I gotta eat my last chicken nugget. Pull out this for cold. This is like my favorite burgundy lipstick. It's um, I think Kate Moss, the Kate Moss collection. <gasps> wow, wow, by uh Rimmel London. Yeah, the Kate Moss, the Kate Kate collection. I don't I don't know if it's Kate Moss, Kate whoever, but this burgundy lipstick is life. I didn't use a lipstick pencil, so I hope it looks okay. So the only thing I need to do is put on lashes, but I gotta see if I gotta do that in the car because we're supposed to be leaving like right, right now. So I'm gonna have to put my lashes on in the car, but I wanna show y'all my outfit before we leave the house though. So. I have my lashes, they are right here. I have my lashes and I have to find my lash glue real quick. It's right here. Probably just hold that until we get in the car. Mm -hmm. So this is my outfit. And then the red bag, red lips. Yeah. All right, let's go.